Hey Leo, welcome to Awaken Blue Heart Tarot. For those of you that are new, my name is Danielle. And for those of you that are returning, hey guys. I hope that everybody's been doing great. So this is going to be your reading for the month of February. Please keep in mind, this is just a general reading, so some of the messages may or may not apply to your exact situation. If you feel like it doesn't apply, please take a look at your other videos to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. <sighs> Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. Y'all are number two on the list. So, this is going to be good. <laughs> Let's see what's going on with you guys this month. Now... Y'all know that I love you guys, so thank you so much for the support. And thank you guys for your patience. Because I was really trying to do your reading last Sunday, but I, I was I was not feeling it, y'all. And like I told Aquarius, I wasn't going to half-ass y'all reading. So I said, let me just wait till I get better. And I'm better. So yeah, we can ready to go. Now, I say this every single time. Y'all know the readings can go vice versa. So just take it however it fits for your situation. All right, guys. Let's go. Let's see what's going on with you guys the month of February. All right, Spirit, what's going on with my Leos, please? Leo. February. What's going on with my Leos? All right, Leo, here we go. You have It Is Safe For You To Love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Guys, it is like super bright outside. I don't even have my blinds open today. So just bear with me. All right. And then I have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Bottom of the deck, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. <sighs> I've noticed, y'all, when I start doing this, this is my thinking. <laughs> thinking mode oh okay y'all i'm uh, i'm getting it two ways so so look for some of you guys i feel like you've been through the most um in your life when it comes to like people relationships just everything so spirit wants you to know even though you're taking a cautious approach they want you to know it is safe for you to love because it's to the point where you guys are tired of like constantly giving yourself to people putting yourself you know out there trying to you know work on partnerships but it just doesn't work out because you just get the short end of the stick the stick so that's why you guys are just being cautious at this point but spirit is saying, you know, it is safe for you to love, you know, just put yourself out there. But of course, you don't know, have your guard up because this person, whoever you're, you know, talking to or you're going to be talking to, they have to work for it. Right. And they want you to know to let your friends help you. So if you want to vent to them, you know, maybe this could be your friends trying to help you, you know, or set you up with someone or, you know, it could just be anything. But they're here to support you. But with unrequited love, it's just like you guys aren't happy. You know, it's just like, why is it that things are not working out? Like, what, what is it? Like, is there something that I'm doing? But I just feel like you guys had to go through lessons, you know, because it's going to make you a stronger man and or a stronger woman. So let's see. But others of you, I do feel I am getting a past energy here. So I feel like somebody wants to come back in because they want you to know that it is safe for you to love them. They don't want to play around, but the thing is they're taking a cautious approach to come back because they know that they messed up. And that's them asking their friends for help because they're not happy with, you know, how things played out between the two of you. So, is there a card flipped over? I just saw it. That is weird. Okay, so the fact that the Knight of Pentacles is here and it's the only card flipped over in this deck, that lets me know that, yeah, this person from the past, this person was moving really slow with you, you know? And y'all were over it. So let's see. Okay, Spirit. What's going on with my Leos? Month of February, Leo. What's going on with my Leos, please? Month of February. All right, guys. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Bottom of the deck. I'm seeing judgment. So... This could be you trying to make a decision about this person coming back, or this could be them trying to make the decision. Oh, oh, okay. 
somebody feels like they're not going to have a new opportunity and they're not going to have a victory because of what they did in the past. And it could be, you know, family that was involved. But there was something that was done in the past. And this is why this person is like, man, I'm not going to, you know, have a chance with Leo or Cross Watcher. If you were dealing with a Leo, they feel like they're not going to have a chance with you. But see, I did not tell y'all, let your friends help you. This person is asking for help. They're talking to someone about you because they want to take this leap to come back and fix things. They're back and forth with the Ten of Pentacles. This person does want stability with you. They want this to work, Leo. But at the same time, there is somebody in the background holding on for financial gain. Somebody's waiting. Look at that. Knight of Pentacles tried to jump out. See? The Ace of Wands. And it was somewhere, you know, kind of like on Six of Cups. And I just noticed that there are two Sixes here. Y'all, didn't I tell y'all I wasn't feeling good? I'm feeling better, but just give me a second, okay? So anyway, I can't believe I missed that. There was definitely some type of like family situation going on. And this is why this person was hesitating because what I was trying to say is the Ace of Wands jumped out like right in between this. And I guess Spirit was saying they were trying to get my attention, okay, because I missed it. But anyway, so they were saying that this person feels like they're not going to have a new beginning with you because of some type of family situation, because of some type of home situation. Mm. See, they want a new beginning with you. For some of you, maybe, put it here. maybe this person could have like a child or children with someone else and that could have been the issue or there's some type of pregnancy. If not, this person definitely just, they're afraid they're not going to have a new beginning with you. Yes, I can't make this up. There is a home, there's some type of family situation going on. I can't make this up, Leo. All right, y'all, so look. Oh, it's too many of y'all. Okay, look, I was trying to zone in, but I'm getting a lot. Okay, so look, it's either you have a child or children with this person and they mess up so bad that they feel like they're not going to be able to get you back. It could be a situation to where your person has a child or children with someone else and that's the person holding on because remember I told you there's somebody here holding on for financial reasons. If that's not the case, this could be their family trying to hold on to them. Maybe your person takes care of them financially speaking. And this is why, you know, this individual has been moving slow with you. But I'm feeling like they're not happy, you know, when it comes to like their home um, situation. But they're feeling like they're not going to be able to have a home or stability with you because of the responsibilities that they have. You know, but look at that. I'm telling you, they don't want you to walk away from them, Leah. Look, I can't make this. Leo, didn't I just say that I want you to walk away? I just said this. There you are. Somebody could be dealing with the fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Oh, my gosh. I can't make this up, Leo. This is you. You could be dealing with another Leo. But I'm telling you, this person, they don't want you to walk away from them at all. You know, they look at you as you're a blessing to them. You know, you're someone who's positive. It's like you like something in them. You're very passionate. You're caring. And this is what they want. They're trying to have the strength to come towards you. But see, right now... look. They know that they were being very immature and childish towards you, you know, and this is why you're not receiving this offer just yet. Somebody could be dealing with a Libra. See what I'm saying? This person has to remove themselves from a third party situation, but I feel like your justice is being served. You guys are looking for the truth. Some of you guys know what's going on. Some of you guys don't, but I feel like this person wants to come back and speak their truth to you. See, there's the sun. They want happiness with you, but I'm telling you, some there's a baby here for somebody. There's a child or children involved. For some of you, that could be why they've been taking their time with the person. If it is like, you know, they're with a love interest, maybe they have a child on the way or they already have a child or children with this person. And there could be a court situation of all this could be child support situation, you know. And they know that this person was going to come after them. See what I'm saying? There's a birth of a new family. Somebody, there's a baby here. I don't know who I'm talking to. There's, there's a baby here. Even, see, bottom of the day, Ace of Swords reverse. This is why somebody's not talking to you. There's a baby here. I 
I know this is on the other row and I'm starting something new, but the two tens, they're catching my eye. There's some type of completion here. I feel like they want to have a family with you, but they are, some of them are stuck in another family situation, but I'm, there's a baby here. Who am I talking to? See, this is why there's no balance here. You know, they, they couldn't work things out with you or they were afraid to. But I'm seeing that they're coming out of that energy and they're holding on to hope. They want to work things out with you. Somebody could be dealing with an Aquarius. Tell me more. But they're undecided about how to go in and fix this. Look, I can't. Wow, guys, look at that. 999. Didn't I just tell y'all over here I saw two tens? It caught my eyes. I'm like, there's going to be a completion. Look at that, nah, nah, nah. There, whatever situation that they're in is wrapping up. I'm telling you, this cycle is getting ready to be completed. That's a confirmation right there. Somebody, they're getting ready to free themselves from this situation that they're in. So whether or not it's with, they're with like a love interest, um, the child's mother or father, marriage, whatever it is, they're getting out of it. If they were helping family, they're getting out of it. This person, at one point, they couldn't sleep. They were so worried. They're getting out of that energy, y'all. Oh my gosh, who am I talking to? Look, see what I'm saying? Somebody's dealing with a Taurus. Now, this could be, um, like I was just saying, somebody could have been married or just in some type of like contract commitment, but I'm really picking up this energy where they want to be with you. They want to have this life, this marriage with you. Tell me more. See, that's why they're coming back. They're going to apologize to you. Ooh. But see, they're having a hard time right now. They're having a hard time coming towards you. They're not confident just yet. Anymore. But when they come, there's the Page of Pentacles. You will get a small offer from them. But I'm going to be honest with you. For some of you guys, this person, they're focusing on themselves. They're focusing on their stability. Because regardless if it's like their immediate family or if it's you know, a family that they have with someone else, this person, I feel like they're throwing themselves into work. They're trying to make sure financially they're okay because I feel like they're getting ready to make a change. So, yeah, they're trying to dot their I's, cross their T's right now. Tell me more. But somebody's not listening to their intuition because mm -hmm, they're not moving forward. They're still going through their lessons, Leo. So patience is needed just a little bit longer. Because they're trying, I feel like they know what they need to do, but they haven't gotten out of it just yet. So remember the fact that I saw the two tens and the three nines, I'm telling you, they're going to get out of it, but they're almost there, but they're not there just yet. Because I'm seeing the seeds that they planted with you. They want them to grow. There's the Ace of Pentacles. You will get the offer that you deserve. But I'm telling you, for some of them, they're still giving money to this other person. Or they know that they're going to have to give money to this other individual. Look at that. In order to move forward with you. Some of them, if they're living with this other person, they're going to have to physically move. you know, Or somebody's going to have to physically move. And that's the problem. See, that's why they're not talking to you just yet. That's why, didn't I just say they have to make some changes? See? This person, I'm telling y'all, I'm seeing it two ways. If they're in a committed relationship with someone, or if they're committed to helping family, they know that they have to get out of it, but they haven't removed themselves just yet because they're so focused on trying to make sure their finances are taken care of, money is good, because they're going to have to give to someone, or if they've been given to someone, they're going to have to make these changes. So, Patience is still needed. The two of cups is kind of, it looks a little reversed to me. I'm just, I'll take it both ways, but when it comes to you, I feel like they do want to be with you. They want to commit to you, but the problem is because of all it is going on, they feel like you don't want them anymore. See, there's a tower moment. There's going to be a shakeup. Tell me about the tower, please. Ooh, look at this. Somebody's dealing with an Aries. But let me tell you something. This shake up here is basically getting ready to get this person moving. Because now, whoever I'm talking to, this person is stepping into their emperor power, okay? They're not playing games. They want stability. They want it all, you know? But they feel like they have obligations. See, I, oh my God, I can't make this up. They have obligations. And it's just like, this is why right now you're not getting their offer. Because they feel like they're not 
um, financially stable. They're not secure. They have to take care of all of this. This person is making changes right now. Yep, see? This is why they're moving slow, guys. I told you. All right. So I'm seeing a decision is going to be made. I feel like if there is some type of like legal situation, a contract, like they got to go to court, whatever it is, maybe they're moving slow because they're trying to wait on some type of like court decision. And that could be, you know, the hold up as well. See, then I just, I can't make this up because see your person, they're coming to you, but they got to give to someone else. Somebody's going to have to pay out. And I told you, some whoever I'm talking to right now, what I'm picking up on, there is going to be a court situation going on where if there is a child involved or if this person has a business with someone else, like whatever it is, they may have to pay up. And that's the, the issue. See, this person's trying to clear away obstacles before they can come back to be towards you, you know, be with you, excuse me. Um, I do feel like this person's upset because it's like they want to make a move now, but they're hesitating because they got they have a lot of they have a lot going on over here. Somebody could be dealing with a water sign, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. See what I'm saying? They want to rush in, but there's some type of like document or a contract here that has to play out. See, because right now they're afraid that whoever they're dealing with is going to leave them out in the cold financially speaking. And that's why I told you guys this person is throwing themselves into work. They're doing what they have to do right now, but they hate the fact that they're leaving you out in the cold. They left you out in the cold. See, they're frustrated. I can't make this up because right now this person's feeling stuck. They're feeling stuck in a situation and they're feeling like you don't want to build with them anymore. But see, this is why they're moving slow. Somebody's dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. They're dragging their feet right now. But they're trying their best to move forward. They don't want to keep looking back in the, in the past. But see, I can't miss two kings here. I told y'all, there's some type of third-party interference. Y'all see two men, it could be two women. But either which way, this is why this person's having a hard time because they've been going back and forth juggling and it's like they're not positive right now. So they know that they're going to have to put in the work to win you back. But I'm telling you, this person right now, they're focusing on money. They're focusing on their money right now. Somebody could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Yeah, see, they know that they hurt you. They're afraid that you're not talking to them. But I'm telling you, there is some type of mother, mother figure, child's mother. It's something like that where this person feels like, financially speaking, they're getting ready to take a loss. This is very specific. See what I'm saying? They're removing themselves from this individual. They're, they're removing themselves because they don't see anything improving. I'm going to be honest with you. Somebody could be drinking a lot. And as soon as I said it, there's the devil. So there could be some type of like codependent behavior. I do feel like somebody out there is drinking a lot or there's just some type of like, there's something, there's some type of like codependency that they have, something that they're doing. Um, that they're indulging in because right now they're stressing out. It's a lot going on. You know, this situation is very, it's very interesting, very toxic. They felt stuck in a situation. You know what's interesting? Why the magician and the devil lined up here? You know, I don't, I don't do coincidences, okay? So I just, I'm gonna throw it out there. And I definitely saw it in Aquarius' video, but now I'm going to just throw it out there for some of y'all. Keep it 100. There could have been some type of spell work or magic that's been done. It's right there in my face. And I feel like if that is the case, and if you know, you'll know. Y'all know, okay? If this is for you, I feel like your person's breaking out of it. And whoever's been doing it to them, they know. They already know. Tell me more. Mm-hmm. But some of you guys could have been dealing with a Capricorn, but I feel like this person, they don't know what to do at this point when it comes to you because they're afraid things may not improve, but they're also afraid that things may not improve with their money. Yeah, because see, I, I'm feeling like this person's been fighting with someone else about money, about assets, and they're tired of doing that, see, because they want things to balance out. Somebody could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but yeah, your person is still moving really slow, mm -hmm. but they don't want you to cut them off. Could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. But see, I told y'all that somebody's worrying about their money. I mean, hands down. I see, it's just, 
they're frustrated because you've been waiting on them and they know that they had you waiting but they're also waiting on something to come in about their money they're waiting to hear about something because right now they're not hearing anything like something is moving really slow and this is why again there's little to no communication with you and this individual because this person kept stabbing you in the back could have been dealing with the gemini but they know that they didn't bring balance to the situation and they're afraid that things may not improve and this is why they're isolating themselves right now could be dealing with a Virgo. Somebody could be dealing with a Scorpio. But this person, they're going through a transformation. They're getting ready to make changes. But they're afraid that when they come back towards you, that they feel like you're going to go off on them. Because I feel like they've been doing this. You know, this back and forth energy. You know, and they know you're tired of it. Somebody could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. But I am seeing that. A decision will be made. This person's coming back. They're going to turn things around, but they're afraid that you're going to let them go. So they're coming out of being frustrated that they lost you for good, but they're stuck trying to make some type of decision here. You will get an offer from them, but they're afraid. You know, I feel like they're listening to their intuition, but they are afraid because of the things that they did in the past, because of the secrets, because of the lies. You know, they're worried. But look at that, Queen of Pentacles. I'm telling you, they're afraid that it's too late. They're afraid that, I feel like this is you guys. Actually, I'm picking up you and this other individual. So let me put it to you like this. When it comes to you, they're afraid that they took too long. You're moving on. You're focusing on yourself and you're not going to give them a chance. Um, when it comes to this other individual, that's why I've been picking up on money. This person is like focused on money. They're feeling like they're going to come after them hard. They don't know if they're going to be able to support themselves. So it's kind of like if I can't even do what I have to do for me, you know, then how can I even support you once I get out of this situation? Somebody could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. I don't know if I said it, but Pisces is there too. But Leo, that's your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave me some comments. Let me know if this resonates. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. And yes, if you're interested in a personal reading, I'll leave the information in the description box. Um, I will start back doing personal readings next week. Okay, Leos, love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.